The military confrontation pitting Moscow and Kiev has brought the 1970 Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty that was renewed in 1995 into sharp focus. In Tokyo, the Director for Arms Control and Disarmament Division of the Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ishii Yoshizane, has made a case for signatories to the treaty to adhere to the accord if peace must prevail in the world. There are fears that the ongoing bombardment of Ukraine by Russia could prompt a return of the arms race and a rise in the number of countries eager to establish their own nuclear capabilities as part of their defense mechanism. The situation in Ukraine is a, is a, is a state in which a nuclear weapon state is the aggressor against a western state that has no nuclear weapons. Um, and is, this is part of a very important theme for Japan in the G7 Hiroshima summit, is basically we have to hold, uphold the rule of law. The director in charge of non-proliferation science and nuclear energy division of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan cited Moscow's nuclear power capabilities at a time it enjoys veto powers at the United Nations Security Council. The fact that the treaty lacks any inbuilt mechanisms to enforce it in case of violations by member states is a major concern. He says the world cannot sit back and watch as Russia threatens to use nuclear weapons against Ukraine. That Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the ideas of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, um, and uh, I think understanding the realities of Nagasaki and Hiroshima provides a moral, moral impetus for everyone to adhere and endear themselves to the treaty. Tokyo wants transparency among nations to reveal the nuclear weapon stocks they are holding as lack of data on the nuclear capability of individual nations is causing fear among countries. Transparency, especially in, in numbers or qualitative and quantitative data. So you, you want to make sure you, everyone else knows how many nuclear weapons nuclear weapons it's how, what they're doing with it. Judith Akolo, Tokyo, Japan.